And I hope everybody's out there doing well, family and friends doing well out there. You know, we're living in a tough time right now, but it seems things are getting a little better. I don't know if it's good or bad that today I was on the road and there was traffic. You know, I went from seeing no cars on the road to being in traffic today. I don't know if that's New York ignorance of people. You know, that summertime, New York don't care about nothing. Talking about staying inside during the summer. Yeah, okay. So I hope Corona's gone because it's going to get crazy out there. Just be safe and you know, I hope everyone's doing well. But... Retired from battle rap. You know, I get this question on every blog I make, every tweet. You know, when are you coming back? Am I retired? Or, you know, what happened along the lines of, you know, why I stopped and things like that. You know, as you know, my last two battles was uh, I battled Clean Paper on RBE. Then I battled Sharon on uh, King of the Dot. That was my, that was my last battle. Um, that was about, you know, over a year ago. You know, and, uh, you know, there's plenty of answers to that and, like, reasonings of things, you know, business-wise, you know, since day one, I noticed leagues are real funny. You know, these people really ain't your friends. You know, you could get close to certain people. You know, me and ARP built a relationship over the years, me and Peso, me and No Mercy, things like that. But you'll just have those selective people that you could deal with, whereas there's a hundred leagues and a hundred league owners. And, and, and unfortunate with bad rap is, like, with a lot of other things in life, you have these... These suckers in a position of power, these shady people in a position of power, these people that have power that I shouldn't have it. And these are the people you have to deal with. And I'm not really with all the play nice, play fake it till you make it. I'm not with that. You know, I've always I've always lived my battle rap career the way I wanted it, which is pretty pretty selfish, pretty ignorant. If you see, I talked myself into a position of power. You know, there there was a long time, and some people think till this day, my talent doesn't match up the 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 opponents that I've had. Well, tell your favorite bad rapper to step his promo up. I've to I talked my crap. Uh, they, uh, you know, it worked. You know, I, I took people, I, you know, I, they, they took the bait. They took the bait. I had Shotgun Shook take the bait, and that was the biggest thing. I had Trap House put that together. I called Shook out in a couple interviews prior to that. He took the battle, and, and I feel like that was my takeoff battle. That battle on Trap New York, uh, ARP was there. From there was history. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was supposed to battle Rayman on uh, RBE. Um, he went to a battle rap jail, got locked up on a farm or something like that. And then um, I ended up battling Rich Dollars for his comeback. You know what I'm saying? And uh, which was a big eye opener for me because in the room, I, I'm pretty sure I 30 them. And then it went online. They're like, you suck. Which just how the internet works and just how everything works. Really, you know, you know, things look different on, on online. It's just true. You know, if you ever seen gyms in person, you would think I never lost a battle ever. Like, I don't think I've ever walked off the stage and thought I lost a battle ever. Now, one time, that's me being from the heart, 100% truthful with you. I get online, I'm like, oh my God, that didn't look as good as I thought. And that's just the facts of life. It's just the facts. But, um, you know, with that being said, you know, um, and then the career, you know, it starts moving along, you know, uh, you know, but during that rich battle, before that battle, you had um, Smack Him Up for a PG, just out of coincidence. Next thing you know, RBE announces Jim's is going to be on RBE, and the next thing you know, they offered me a PG. I honestly, me and ARP think to this day that they, they offered me that thinking I was going to cancel the RBE battle, but I did both. I battled bad news on the PG when they actually meant something. Now they just give it out like, you know, free snacks. And then, um, I, I don't even know if it exists anymore. Did it die with Norbs? And who knows? But, um, and then I battled Rich and, you know, stayed consistent, you know, at the end of the day, you can't deny the fact that I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm a staple and, and part of the brick that helped build RBE, part of the brick that helped build Trap House. Trap House had one event prior to the one I was on. RBE had one event prior to the one I was on. Like I came on these leagues, maybe two, but I came on these leagues at the very start of it, and I love that. I love that we built this together. You talk about brick by brick. You can't say that without mentioning gyms. It don't matter. You can't. Salute to these leagues, and, and, and even if I never battled on them again, you can't deny the fact that I came from the bottom up, and I love it. I love it. ARP got me hella crazy matchups, you know, negotiated with a lot of bad rappers that didn't want to take me and then still dealt with the fact that I didn't want to take who he was asking me to take, you know, the Mr. Mills, the J1400s, no, no shade to them. But again, I'm a selfish battle rapper. Look at my resume. I have a top tier resume. That's because I say no to a lot of battles. You know, fast forward, I ended up battling King of the Dot, I ended up battling all over, you know, Australia, London, all over the place. And, you know, I was honestly felt like I was losing love for battle rap um, prior to the good situation. It just... 
got real watered down to me. I feel like everyone was being funny. Like these leagues, you know, they expect you to take the same amount of money each time that you battle. It's like, yo, bro, I haven't battled on here in seven months. My name has got bigger. Your name has got bigger. How does the check not get bigger? Like, I, I, I don't understand that. Like, you know, if I'm going to come back and, you know, uh, do a job, if without a contract attached, I have every right to negotiate a better deal. And then they give you that money. And the next thing you know, you got some leagues talking about you got to share a room. You know, I ain't going to throw the league out there or nothing like that. But it's like, bro, share a room. I'm a grown ass man with children, a girl. Like, what What do you mean share a room? With, with who? Who do you want me to share a room with? Oh, Chilla Jones. Oh, okay, I guess I'll meet him in the in the room the first time I ever see him. That's weird. No. What if I snore? What if I can't rehearse around people? What if I beat off in the middle of the night under the sheets? Share a room? Sorry, this is not fat camp, boot camp, or any summer camp of the nature where I'm sharing a room. I'm not doing... Oh, but you're the only one complaining. Well, I'm the only one who has... I don't know this mentality. So, you know, you, you know, I had issues with leagues with that. And then I had issues with other leagues where it was like, yo, we didn't help build this thing. You know, I ain't trying to count your pockets, but I see the names you bringing over here. The, the events is getting bigger. Things is getting more fancier. Can I have this much more money? And it's like, nah, we can't do that. We could give you this. All right, nah, I'm not going to take it. All right, so you're not battling. All right, so I ain't battling. That'd be the, I like those arguments and those discussions more than anything. It's like, you don't want to give me, I don't want to battle the person you want me to battle. If I do, you don't want to give me the money. So we're out of conflict and I don't mind stepping out. And then you have, you know, get specific with the smack thing. You know, me and text battle got taken down. I said, okay, cool. That's, I know I'm jumping all around, but just stay with me. Just, I don't even know how I'm getting into all this story. It just happened. So let's just go with it. So I guess it's going to build up to where I'm at now. Then, the, you know, I had the issue with smack where I'm like, yo, Beasley, like, I understand you took the battle down, whatever, whatever. That Rex battle's still up though. But hey, you know how that goes. Uh, you guys kind of owe me a battle. What you think? Yes, Beasley goes, I 100% agree. This is not no middleman, nothing. It's me talking to Beasley one-on-one. -on -one. Do you think I, yeah, I'm going to holler at Pete. Already I thought it was an issue. Like, Beasley, you're the boss. What do you have to holler at someone? You give him the runaround. You think I'm one of these dumbass battle rappers? Like, okay, I'm waiting for Pete to call me when I know you're the boss. Sign the check. You're going to tell me who I'm battling or not. P hits me up, says he'll give me Don Marino. I said, my God. Now, again, my, people could think he's better than me. People could think that could have been a great battle. Me, personally, I wasn't going to go from a tech battle being taken down where I came over adversity. I just had a fight prior to that. I went to Virginia, had a fight there, had the whole crowd against me, and I still made it out. Still made it out winning that battle. Still made it out of... And that was a lot to that. It was a big staple for me. My first battle rap on my first true, true battle on Smack. The league that before RB, before anything that I cared about watching DVDs. Oh my God, I'm on Smack. My 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 blog get, my, my 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 battle gets taken down. Then you offer me a dude who's an up and comer. I didn't like the idea. We had Marv on it. Me and Marv would have did it. Me and T Top spoke. Like it was like we had things in order where we could have made it happen. I was making it happen behind the scenes, and we just didn't land on it. And at the end of the day, I'm not gonna ask a hundred times. You know, they said they'll get back to me. They understand. They're gonna. Get, that's who they have right now because the cards already booked up. We're gonna get back to you on the next round. It never happened, and I never asked again because I'm not gonna. At the end of the day, we're the talent. You're the league. We don't. I'm not gonna call the league for a job. You call me to work. That's just how I think of it. As far as RBE goes, um, you know, I was supposed to battle X Factor. X Factor pulled out the battle last minute. That didn't work out, and we had the money right. We worked it out. Then I was gonna battle Scotty, but Scotty had took the T Top battle, so that didn't work out. And then um, I think ARP always offers me like other things in between, but it just don't interest me. I'm not gonna go over there and get smoked. I'm already a struggling battle rapper. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do something where... I, that, that, and that's how I'll be coming off to a lot of people when I try my hardest. Imagine something I'm not motivated for. I'm going to get killed up there. I'm not going to do it. You know, I think me and IRP came to a kind of roadblock with that. Because like, yo, bro, I put all these plates in front of you. And you can't do this for me. But I see it as, yeah, I get it. But I came and showed up every time, too. I did my part. Yeah, you think you do me a favor. But I think it was hand one hand washed the other. You put the opponent in front of me. I went up there and did my thing. Um, you know, as far as uh, King of the Dot goes, you know, uh, me and King of the Dot actually, um, you know, I know I missed a few cards after the Sharon thing, and then I was actually going to go over there to do some type of pay-per-view interview, 
like type thing for them just to get my face out there you know and then we're gonna try to build up something i wanted to do with them you know what i mean and then that just you know the quarantine happened and it didn't and it didn't happen you know what i'm saying and like but overall it's like it's just just what it is it's like you dealing with these leagues where money's an issue travel's an issue opponents an issue and it just starts getting so so just not fun no more you know what i'm saying it becomes like who you know not what you know and then it's like you know you know, you, you feel like you come up with certain people and then suddenly it's like, it just, a lot of things just change. And like, you know, I have no malice or anything against people. You know, I, sp I spoke to ARP the other day. I spoke to no, no Mercy a week ago. Peso drove down to Virginia with me. You know what I'm saying? Gully, you know, I speak to Gully here and there straight about father stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it's all love for everybody. You know what I mean? Just, I'm just saying sometimes things don't work out. And just along the line of like a lot of money not working out, travel not working out, opponents not working out. Next, you know, a year and a half passes and you kind of look like you're retired, but I still just wait for the right opportunity. You know what I mean? Me and ARP spoke about the quarantine joint. You know what I'm saying? And we, you know, can I consider myself retired? I don't want to say that. Next, you know, I get booked tomorrow, but it looks like it. I mean, I'm on, a, I'm on a sabbatical. I'm on a little break, but you have to do that. I got two children. My life changed for the better, but it changed. You know what I'm saying? And like, it's like, you know, priorities took over. So I didn't care as much as for bad rap. I lost some love for it. You know, so many corny bloggers and corny, just everything. Just, it got so weird to me. You know, I still got love for it, but I lost a lot of love for it. But as far as me coming back and the fans who hit me up every single day about, you know, my return, you know, uh, I believe it'll happen when the time is right. You know, if that time is four years from now, it's four years from now. If it's next week, it's next week. But at the end of the day, it's just to give you a little background, like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I have over 25 battles, different continents, countries, states. I done fought on these stages outside of these leagues. I done, you know what I mean? I, I, I done been on the smallest leagues to the biggest leagues, smallest rooms, biggest rooms, big crowds, small crowds, toughest opponents. Like, if I never battle rapped again, I'll be proud of the work I put in. Nobody else has to be. I am, though. I put in my work. I made thousands of dollars in in, 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 in checks from Battle Rap, in merchandise, in, in blogging. Like I've done a lot. Battle Rap's done a lot for me. It's a big staple in my life. And I never battle again. I'll look back and say, I did that. I did that. You know what I'm saying? From the ground up, I had no backing. I had no nothing. We came, me, me and Trap House, we made it happen. Me and RBE, we made it happen. And at the end of the day, I'm proud of that. Nobody else has to be. I'm proud of that. You know, so, you know, will I be back? Maybe, but if not, I hope everybody just keep making their money, you know, make your sm smart decisions, don't burn bridges, keep up, keep opportunities open for yourself, and uh, do what's best for you. At the end of the day, do what's best for you, because no one else is going to give a shit about you the way you're going to care about you. So, you know, just keep that in mind. As far as everything else goes, man, I hope everyone's staying healthy, hope everybody's family's good, and, um, you know, after the quarantine, you know, help uh, everything gets back to normal in the world, and uh, everybody just stay safe out there. You know, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have some more blogs dropping for y'all, uh, some more fitness blogs, some more eating blogs, some more battle blogs, all, all kind of things, and, uh, you know, I appreciate everybody who stuck by me through this journey. Uh, I could talk y'all ear off more than this 13 minutes, so let me cut it off here and um, stop eating dirty and stop being dirty. I never get tired of that.